Hey, welcome to this Windows channel. And now we will continue, of course, our series on free software to replace paid software. As you all know, not everybody is eligible for the uh, free upgrade to Windows 10, first of all. Also, you might have an old computer lying around that you would like to use with an operating system, but don't want to pay for Windows. And of course, after July 29th, whatever operating system you're using, maybe you'll want to move on, but you don't want to have to pay for Windows. Um, well, the free alternative to Windows is Linux. And I will actually show you here three versions of Linux, or three what we call distributions of Linux. Linux is the underlying system. So this is the basics shared by uh, all of these three distributions that I will show you. And what they have different is that the distribution of Linux has on top of it different um, a different style if you want. It has on top of it a different way of working uh, so it goes into different paths basically. I will show you three operating systems for a computer that you might have at home that you don't want to pay for Windows but that you want to have working that could go on the internet and do basically pretty much everything you want and these distributions are actually quite amazing. First one, uh, probably the most popular, Ubuntu. Ubuntu is a distribution of Linux, of course that's very popular. What's nice about Ubuntu is that if you aren't really very computer geeky, it's one of the easy to use distributions that out of the box has pretty much everything you need and works fine from the start. The second distribution I want to show you is Linux Mint, which is also another nice distribution. The difference between Linux Mint and Ubuntu, I find Linux Mint layout a little less um, abundant if you want. Ubuntu is kind of jam-packed with a lot of features, so it's like having a big Windows operating system with everything installed. In Linux Mint, it's less of a jam-packed feature Linux distro, so it seems to be a little lighter. It seems to be kind of, um, you know, less of a stress to use when you look at all the features, but it still packs pretty much everything you need to have it working well, and it's a nice distribution also. And finally, we have Elementary OS. You want to have something very simple with no extra flaws, no extra flaws, not flaws, but no extra software, no extra uh, you know, things that you just will never use. Well, Elementary OS is that. It's a very stripped down version of uh, Linux. And basically, it does not have everything you need. It will have the browser, it will have a few things, but if you want to continue, you'll have to add some software. So depending on where you want to go, do you want something jam-packed with everything you need or something light that might ask you to, you know, might actually have to install a little something extra uh, while you're using it, uh, just choose your distro. Now, how do you use these? What's cool, first of all, all three distributions give you the possibility to run them without altering, without, um, you know, changing anything to your computer. So you download the image file and you create a DVD with it. Or you can use a uh, piece of software uh, from Pendrive Linux, which is the uh, universal USB installer. And what it does, it will create a bootable USB drive with one of your favorite distributions. What's cool is that because you don't have to install it, you can actually use it, see if it works well, first of all, before you spend all the time installing it on your computer. And um, also, what's really cool is you can download all three of them and try them out one after the other. And the one you like, you start the install and you install it on the hard drive of your computer. So that's free alternative to Windows, um, Linux distributions, uh, and here are the three, and there's many more, uh, and of course some people will have favorites, uh, maybe somebody 
you know, we'll post, oh, I like this one better, I like this one better. Uh, we, you know, I think we all have our uh, favorites. Uh, I do like Linux Mint a lot. I do like Elementary OS a lot for its simplicity and the fact that it, it's not bloated with everything. But all versions are, in general, quite good. But they have different way of, uh, you know, operating. Often the uh, graphic user interface is uh, different from one to the other. But, you know what? Don't be scared. These distributions are actually really simple to use today uh, compared to, you know, maybe Linux of 15 years ago or 20 years ago. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us thumbs up if you like the videos. And the distro uh, links will all be in the description below the video so you can, you know, check out the one you want or, you know, just download all of them and try them out before you install. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this series on free software alternatives.